This is the World Book, page 130, chapter on area of triangles, problem related to finding shaded area of composite figures. Over here we have this question. Question number 3. In the figure, we have BC equals to H, CH equals to HD equals to GH. GF, sorry. So this is the first statement. I'm going to highlight this. I used my highlighter to help me. BC is here. Equals to CH is here. <coughs> equals to HD, that's here. Um, equals to HD, that's here. And then equals to GF, that's here. <coughs> Right, so these four measurements are the same. And then you have AG equals to 12. And DE equals to 18. Find the area of the shaded figure below. <coughs> so I will use, first of all, fill in the missing measurements here, which is 18 minus 2, that's 6 centimeters. So with that, I can find that this is 6 centimeters, this is 6 centimeters, and this is also 6. With that, I can also meet, I also can also find that here, this measurement here is also something I can find. Okay, so it will help if I can find all the measurements first. So in this case, this measurement here will be 20 minus 6. That will give me 14 centimeters. Because I'm using Fe minus CH. Right, okay, moving on, I'm going to use different colors. In this case, I'm going to use purple for this triangle, which I call triangle B. Mm. B, C, D. Okay, and then we have the figure. I will cut it here. Okay. Okay. And I'll call this uh, space here, uh, this triangle B, C, D. Okay. So Earlier on in class, we have discussed that to find the shaded area, we need to find this triangle here. That's triangle B, C, D. Okay. And we need to find this other figure, this other shape below, that looks something like this. Okay? And we call this F, C, B, D, E. Okay? I'm sorry. So, the first one here, B, C, D, I think is not too difficult to find, you have the measurements already there, 6 and 6 as the base and height. Okay, so we're, we're talking about how to find this odd shape here. And earlier on we discussed that we could have used the rectangle here to find the shaded figure that looks a little like this.
Okay, we can use the big rectangle minus of that triangle at the top, so that you can get this shape. Now to do that, there will be so the rectangle A D E F minus the triangle. A, B, hmm, this is G, sorry, see it's there, so this is G, okay, A, B, G, okay, so moving on, we we'll make this smaller a little, So I have the rectangle, that's length times breadth, 20 centimeters times 18 centimeters. That is the rectangle, minus the triangle. The triangle is half times base times height. The base of the triangle, or the height of the triangle, is 12. I'm talking about ABG here. This is triangle ABG. Okay, if you can't see that well, let me color that in green. This is the space I'm talking about. Hmm. Okay, ABG. So this particular triangle, ABG, that is half times 12 times 14. Okay, that's how I find that one. So I can do find my measurements. 18 times 2 is 36, 360. Okay, minus half times 12 times 14, so this is cancel, cancel 6 times 14, 14 times 6, 84. So 360 minus 84. I'll do it. My sum set aside. Okay, so I have this shaded portion, 276 square centimeters. Okay, then I find the little triangle here. This little triangle, that is triangle B, C, D, which is this part here. Okay, I'm going to shake this B, C, D here. So that one is equals to half times 6 times 6. Cancel, cancel. I get 3 times 6, that's 18. Okay, so the total shaded area will be equals to triangle A, triangle B, C, D plus the figure. B, D, E, F, G, which just now we talked about. B, C, D is 18. And then I have B, D, G, F, G, E, F, G, that would be 206. Add these two up. So 
294 square centimeters. All right.